Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Daniel Rosal here. Today I'm going to be doing a video demonstrating how to do a little bit of color correction using Caden Live. Now, firstly, let me apologize because I still haven't quite sorted out this YouTube channel. I'm going to be dividing into topics and setting up new YouTube channels. I will be setting up one specifically about Caden Live tutorials. So that's coming soon. Uh, but just for now, this is going out on my main channel. So what I have here is a couple of clips from uh, my time in Ireland earlier this year. And I look, you may notice, awfully red. I was sitting um, beneath one of those kind of heater things. You can actually see it there in the background that kind of puts out this orangey red light. And you can see I look literally red. So I thought this would be a perfect example to demonstrate trying to fix color using Caden Live. So I'm actually going to grab two clips into my Caden Live. Firstly, we're going to take me, the red man. And then there's another red clip, which is some red uh, pints of beer. You can see there's a cider and a beamish. So this is perfect because I want to show a couple of ways you can sort of do the same color correction on two different uh, images. So I dragged that into my Caden Live now. So let's jump over to full screen on Caden. And we have me, red man. And we have um beer so firstly i'm just going to get rid of the sound so it's not distracting because we're just looking at the visuals here so the first thing i would do um and that i did because this is a video i put together uh not so long ago i did a uh, color correction on this clip so i have the lift gamma gain always it's one of my favorite effects in caden live therefore i can right click on insert an effect and it comes up if you haven't figured this out yet whenever you favor effect favorite effects and compositions they get put into this little menu here right click so i'm going to click into that and now i have my color correction wheels now i want to say firstly i'm by no means a master at color correction in fact i'm a total rookie nevertheless this did take this clip from being kind of ridiculous looking to being somewhat okay so having watched some color correction tutorials the basic premise is figure out what's wrong with the colors in this case it's not hard to see i'm red and then move in the opposite direction so using the gain wheel here you can see this is where red is in the color spectrum so i'm going to pull away from it and try to get it to some place where i look slightly less red now you can see what happens if i actually move towards red i go from being slightly red to kind of totally red and i'm just trying to find a place where my skin tone begins to look a bit more human maybe something like here 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 now it's getting too dark so i'm going to crank up the brightness a bit but not too much so it's uh, overexposed now you can do this on gain gamma and lift right which are different parts of the image this is a background so that looks i'm trying to think what color it was so that's where i'm looking it was i believe a kind of orangey door shade so i'm going to move it a little bit here and it's getting a bit of my skin as well now i'm looking jaundiced you get the idea it's very very uh it's very difficult work and it's much easier to do this on a big screen but so far i think we've already made a bit of an improvement right this was really really red this was the same color and now i look kind of weird but at least i'm looking less red finally we have lift something you can do to quickly see how because how each layer is going to affect is to just move it so you can see with lift the, the top highlights here very little changing so this, this isn't going to really do a whole lot for gamma let's just go back you can see if i make that red so there's a lot of color information at that layer of the image and something like this it's really really far from perfect and this is one of those situations where it just would have been a lot easier to uh, notice before i hit the record button that i was looking red and uh, moved away from the heater than it is to try fix this in post-production but you know this is something now we take our second clip here of beer and i could say well it's probably the same problem as the color so there's two ways you could do this one is to just copy over the effects right click click on copy go on to our beer right click and click on paste effects and now look at that like magic now this is actually kind of clear that the difference here this is my red beer i'm gonna copy it and this is the beer with color correction. I'm just going to try that again. Right click, paste effects. Paste effects there. That looks really, really weird, that red beer. 
and that actually looks kind of like stout and beer right so look at the differences that made so again on my on my kind of voice to camera thing it i still look weird a bit better but here that was like pretty much almost fixed the clip in terms of its color profile you can see the original and the change one so that's number one you can just do a uh, copy and paste effects if you want to do this more quickly i would recommend uh, creating a keyboard shortcut by going into settings sorry it's actually consider configure keyboard shortcuts search there for paste effects and you can actually um put a shortcut onto paste effects like if control v is for paste maybe control control b can be for uh, paste so i'm gonna the second way you can do this is as follows so we're going to go on to me and we're going to get our color wheels back up now what you can do here is right click on this little button here for settings click on save preset and you can create a color correction preset i'm going to call this uh daniel bar 1022 test i'm gonna get rid of this later right daniel bar 1022 test that's a preset now what i can do here is i'm going to just delete and i'm going to add the lift gamma gain again lift gamma gain and now i'm going to go into my presets and i should have daniel bar 1022 test and you can see i've just done the same color correction uh, presets so that's two ways and you can see that the, the value should match up 1.345 and 1.412 and 1.412 1.3 etc it's the same color correction so that's if you're doing an entire um to copy from one clip to the next now the final way you could do this is as follows i'm going to get rid of the color correction here and i'm going to get rid of it here and we're going to go back to me looking super red and the beer looking super red and i'm going to add color correction to the actual track level color and image correction lift gamma gain and i'm going to drag that onto the video track so what i've done now is i've added a track i've added an effect that's going to apply to all the video clips and what i can do now is go on to my preset again daniel bar and now it's going to be on here and if we scroll over to the beer it's applied to the second clip as well so that's three ways to apply the same color correction settings to your uh, whole footage roll on caden live video editor hope this has been helpful thank you guys very much for watching